Hey guys, Retro Badger here. In this video, we're going to look at the USS Gunslinger. The USS Gunslinger has been tasked with scaring off some Orion pirates who are currently encroaching on Federation space. The ship, as you can imagine, is incredibly well armed. It has the ability to fire multiple phaser arrays onto one target, and it can fire a very large number of torpedoes. I feel Starfleet would use this ship to project power rather than to start a fight, but it's more than capable of defending itself. What are those pesky Orions up to today? Okay. Now these ships are quite powerful actually, we're going to be careful here. We can get a target lock. Wow. Yeah, we can fire quite a large amount of torpedoes. Although they have missed, of course. But that phaser array is something else. It really is. I love it. It's like the ones that we see on the Flying Tomato. And what's great is this is in Bridge Commander Remastered, so it won't crash. Because in Kobayashi Maru, unfortunately, having all of those phasers almost always causes a crash. Interesting ship. It's got like a deflector array at the rear as well, which I don't understand. Maybe if it flies backwards, but what? Oh, the cloaking. Got a little Vi um, Viking Orion ship as well. Those Orion torpedoes are seriously powerful. I think they're plasma based. What could we go for? I imagine this ship would be good at multi-targeting. Unfortunately, in terms of maneuverability, it's terrible. I would say I'd put it there with the up there with the Romulan Warbird, the Derrick's class. I suppose it's not really designed for maneuverability though, more about firepower. Oh, look at that. Glorious. Oh crumbs! Oh, look at that. They cloaked at the wrong time. We've almost got that one Orion ship there. Quite fast though, they can go up to 6,000 kph I think. They've definitely got us beat on the speed and maneuverability, that's for sure. But usually with Orion pirates, they don't seem to operate independently tend to operate in pairs, in large numbers. Oh, there we go. Right. One to go. Oh, crumbs! Whoa. Hey, that's not small at all. Oh. Did we get their shield generator? Or were they trying to cloak? No, we got the shield generator. That's unfortunate for them. Wow. Target hull integrity at 75%. Simulated enemy ship has... Well, I have to give that to the USS Gunslinger. Overall, it was the more powerful ship, although I do think it needs a bit more refinement, particularly in maneuverability. The torpedoes work as intended, but because they are motion picture era, they're very slow, so fast moving targets are quite hard to hit. What do you guys think of it? I just want to say a big happy birthday to Get To The Chopper. He's been a good friend of the channel for a number of years. Hope you have a good day, buddy. Thanks for watching and bye for now.